Welcome to this video. Today we are going to discuss on contact module of Odo 17. In every organization, maintaining contact plays a very vital role in order to connect with each other. The contacts provide us the contact details of the vendor, customer, user or all the individual related to the organization. So, Odo gives the flexibility to create and update the contact on few clicks. So, let's go and check the contact module. So, in the interface of contact, we can see all the contacts available for my company can be seen over here and we are having number of views like this is by default it is in Kanban view we can see it in list view and in the map view with the Google map we can coordinate the contacts and also we can see the activity as the previous function already we have discussed the filtration advanced filtration on the basis of filtration, we can uh, filter the contacts by individual, is not a project location, by company, customer invoice, vendor bills, archive and we can also add the custom filter. Group by also we can filter the contacts and we can in fact save as a favorite. Before go going to create the contacts, we will first go to the configuration part and check what are the features available for contacts. So first of all, we will go for contact tag and we can see there is a option of contact consulting services, vendor, desk manufacturer and so on. One can also create it from here. Just put the name as, uh, let's say, customer and we can put the colors as we want to, let's say, it, put it as yellow. If there is a parent category, you can simply select it from here as we will leave it. And in order to bring this tag to the contact list, the activation radio button should be checked on. So we will save this one and we will go for the next configuration option that is the contact titles. So over here we have the contact titles as doctor and the abbreviation will be DR as we know madam MRS. So it is coming by default and you can also put some by yourself also as engineer as ER, doctorates as DR already it is written over and so on. Come to the industry configuration. We can also set up the industry as required. Suppose there is a culture. So we can put as A. And we can set the industries as we want to. And in the localization, as we uh, create a contact, there is a requirement of address. So in order to set the address, a localization country and state is required. So let's go and check the country. You can just uh, see the all countries of the world can be seen over here and you don't have the option to create any country by yourself it will come by default and in fact the country code is also available over here so let's go and check the state so we can see the states with the country can be seen over here 
so you can create a state by yourself also we have the option to create the state as uh, every country state can be divided in their internal matters so it's quite flexible to develop a state in a country so Odo gives us the uh, flexibility to create the state country group as you can see European Union is over here so in order to make the country group you need to select just go and check uh, we will create a country group you will get more understanding as we are having the country group let's say uh, we are having World Cup of Cricket World Cup or let's say football or cricket anything. So the country involved in this list can be selected from here let's say there is usa russia and anything you can select it from here and in fact you can add the lines over here for the price list also and we can select anything from here and just make a group of the country So we are having multiple groups of the country as European Union, South American and so on. So let's go and check the bank accounts. So we can create a bank account over here as already we are having one such. So just name the bank, bank ident identifier code. As in India, we use as State Bank of India and the code is SPI like that only you can put over here. And in the address part, just put the address of the bank, phone number, email ID, state and zip. And same as it is in bank, you have the option to create the account for the bank which has been created. So, so you can go and create the bank account over here. So you can put the account number in the section of account number. We, as I have told, creating the bank will reflect over here. You can just select it from here. Name of the account holder, account holder and the currency in which the bank is there and if we want to send the money just click it on and send money can be done from here <clears throat> so now we will go and check the contacts so we can see all the contacts is coming as i told previously so we will check the one which is already been created Abigail so we have two options to create one is individual one is company so in individual we have the record of the individual person and if we will select the company so the contact of the company is required to fill over here so we will first go to the individual as Abigail uh, enter the name of the person as she is uh, her name is Abigail and we can also have the option to select the company we will choose it from here as our interior and we have the contacts over here if Ezra is having the 
address it will come by default as we have the flexibility to enter the address you can also change it from here also by contact by invoice address by delivery address follow up address and other address it is very much flexible in odo to maintain the address of contacts we have the option of tax id we have the option to fill the pan number over here we can also put the job position at what job he or she is working the basic detail of the contact that is phone number mobile email id website title as i have mentioned in the title section that we can put titles over here we have the option to put the tag over here so we will put as consulting services in contact and addresses just click on add we have a pop-up of contact so you can click on contact and fill all the detail of the contact person from here also and save it it is nothing just a generic information and you can just fill it down and save and close this now we have the sales and purchase tab in which uh, we can select the sales person sales point purchase and physical information so in the sales we can select the sales person we will take it as Mitchell admin sales team if we have created any sales team in sales module then we have the option to select payment term and everything just clicking you can select or just enter the values as barcode we have references if there is any references you can put over here you can put the website and SL policies also if there is any so we are having two day to start customer care you can select it from here in purchase who is the buyer can be selected from here with the contact person and the payment term can be selected over here. how soon the contact will be able to pay the amount and the receipt reminder if required they will get the reminder supplier currency can be selected here and physical position can be selected from here there is no physical position right now so i will leave it for now inventory also we can select from here partner customer and vendor location let's go and check the accounting part so accounting related to setting are managed on the parent company that's why the parent company in the parent company the configuration is already been done in the internal notes uh, if anything is required to enter in the inform internal notes you can just go and type it over partner assignment so you can uh, put the ge geological uh, location over here as it is there as latitude and longitude so Odo gives this much of flexibility to push, put the exact location of the contact it is a great feature and after entering all the relevant information just go and save it So after saving all the information your contact will be saved if in future you want to update any of the information in whole ERP we will find that that change has been done or it is quite flexible that if we want 
the change over here it can be managed in ERP of code of 17 so if the contact person is doing any meeting or there's a schedule for meeting you can see over here if any opportunity related to this contact is there we can find it from here directly without going to the CRM module if the contact person has done any sales or any related to sales and his or her name is there contact is there they can find their uh, sales order over here subscription as well all the smart buttons and the section whatever is on the top we can uh, check the update if any activity activities are going on the on such modules and in fact we have more option over here because the size of top list is not so much so we can manage it from here also in fact we also have the option to change the image of the contacts so you can just go on and click the edit button and you can upload it from your device so I think I have covered most of the topic of contacts. I hope this video will be informative for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel videos and you will be getting a lot. And yes, don't forget to comment upon these videos because if you comment on these videos, this will really going to give us the motivation to upload more and more videos. Thank you, thank you so much. Stay tuned.